Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to go over how to write electron configurations for ions and show where those electrons are coming from so that way we don't make a mistake with regard to like making sure writing, writing the right electron configuration to um, show where those electrons are coming from. All right, so here I have my orbital diagram. I'm going to be filling in this orbital diagram uh, using the different principles and rules. So for example, I'm going to be using alpha principle, right? So to uh, build up from low energy to high energy, uh, I'm going to be using the uh, Pauli exclusion principle. So that way um, to show that uh, two electrons maximum can go into each orbital. Each line is an orbital and those, uh, those electrons should be uh, opposite spin. So spin up and spin down in each orbital. Um, also, I'll be using Hund's rule, right? Remember, Hund's rule says that if you have uh, orbitals of equal energy, when you're adding electrons to each of those orbitals, you, you add them one at a time, and they have to have the same spin. So maybe spin up, spin up, spin up before you start pairing them up. Okay, so let's get into this. So um, here we have uh, some atoms. I'm going to write out the electron configurations for the um the neutral atoms right and then we're going to see where those electrons come from and what that electron configuration for the ion would look like all right so we, let's start with magnesium magnesium is number 12 on the periodic table so we need to put 12 electrons in there because we're assuming uh neutrality right now so let's get into this so 12 electrons so i'm going to put starting from low energy spin up, spin down, 2 in, 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 in the 1s, and then uh, the 2s gets spin up, spin down, so that's 4, and then I'm going to add 1 at a time, spin up, spin up, spin up, and so there's 3, and then I can start pairing them up, spin down, spin down, spin down, okay, so that, so far that's 10, and I need 2 more, so I'm going to put spin up and spin down so that's 12. so now i have my 12 electrons and so here um we got to figure out where the electrons are going to be coming from so if you know the uh, periodic table if you know where this element lies you uh you can figure out the charge from there remember the octet rule um <clears throat> All atoms want to be like noble gases, so they're going to lose or gain electrons based upon uh, which is easier to do. So they want to get that full outer shell, that valence shell. They want that to be full, and uh, they're going to lose or gain electrons to get that full shell. And so here you can see that uh, the last electrons, the highest energy level is three. And so here, to get that full shell with your S and your P, uh, you need either six more electrons, so magnesium can either add six electrons to get that full shell, or it can lose these two electrons, and the next shell would then be the full shell. So 2s, 2p together would be your full eight. And so it's a lot easier to remove two electrons than it is to gain, gain six. So uh, magnesium will lose those two electrons. So lose these two electrons here from from the 3s which is the at this point the highest energy level is three and you can tell it's the highest because you got the three there so that's where the electrons are going to be pulled from so they're always going to be pulled from the highest energy according to the shell number here the energy level number here all right so you lose those two electrons there right so then if we write out the, uh, the electron configuration for magnesium before we move those electrons, it'd be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. So we lost the 3s electron. So this would be the electron configuration for the neutral atom, but we lost those two electrons. So we would remove the 3s2. And so that would be the electron configuration for the ion magnesium with a two plus charge. Okay, 
Let's try the next one. So we have phosphorus. Phosphorus is number 18, I'm sorry, number 15 on the periodic table. So we're going from, let us add our electrons back. Oops. So we have spin up, spin down. So here we have 12 electrons. We need three more electrons to get 15. So we're going to add one two three notice i'm i'm following hun's rule so those three go are going to go one at a time singly into the three equal orbitals and that's it so we have 12 13 14 15. so now we can figure out what phosphorus is going to do so we have it could either gain three more electrons or it can get to get that full outer shell, right? That third full outer shell with the S and the P. Or it could uh, lose these three electrons, lose those two electrons, so lose five electrons to then have a full outer shell. It's going to be a lot harder to remove four, five electrons than it is to gain three. So it will gain three electrons from some other atom or atoms. And so spin down spin down spin down so if we write the uh, electron configuration for the atom before it gained electrons it would be one s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and it would be 3p3 right so before we added those three electrons it was 3p3 but when it gains those three electrons, it will be 3p6. So you add a 6 there. And so that would be the electron configuration for phosphorus with a 3 minus charge. Okay, let's move to the next one. So calcium. Calcium is number 20 on the periodic table. So here we have uh, right now... What is this? We have 20 plus 6. I think that's 26. Let's count. So we have 2, 4, and this is 6 here. That's 10. Sorry, that's 18. So we have 18 here. So 18, uh, calcium is number 20, so we need two more electrons. So we add two more electrons here. And so now... We write the Lewis dot structure. I'm not, I'm sorry, I keep mixing up Lewis dot structure. We're going to uh, write the electron configuration for uh, calcium before we take away any electrons or gain any electrons. So the electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and 4s. Two. Okay, so that is the electron configuration for calcium as a neutral atom. Again, we come here. Notice that the highest electron, our electrons are in the 4s. 4 is the highest number we have. Those electrons are going to be removed first. So you so far the pattern is that the electrons are being removed from the highest energy level. So 4s. Here they were removed, they were added to the highest to make that full shell. Here they were subtracted from the 3s, right? To re uh, so that 3s was the highest one. So here, uh, the 4s is the highest, so those electrons are going to be the ones to remove be removed. Uh, again, uh, you could add six electrons, but that would be hard to do. It'd be easier to lose those two. So calcium tends to lose two electrons. As you know, it's in group two. So if you know the relationship of charge and the periodic table, group two elements tend to have a two plus charge. And that's why. So these electrons would be removed. And so since these electrons would be removed, then we would erase the 4s2 here and that would be the electron configuration for calcium 2 plus so that would be the 2 plus charge there so 
<clears throat> so for the positive ions, we, we are removing the electrons first from the outer, uh, the most, um, how should I say, the uh, highest energy shell. Okay, let's try chromium. Let's do chromium. This is where it kind of gets interesting. So chromium is number 24. So we got to put those electrons back. So that's 20. And now the next highest energy level is going to be the D. And so we have four electrons to put in. So we're going to put them in following hundred rule. So spin up, spin up, spin up. I skipped one, spin up. So our four electrons are all same spin. They're one in each orbital. So this would be the uh, orbital diagram for chromium. So let's write out the, uh, the uh, electron configuration. So here would be 1s, 2, 2s, 2, 2p, 6, 3s, 2, 3p, 6, 4s, 2, and 3d, 4. Okay, so this is the electron configuration for the neutral atom of chromium. Okay, so what would be the ion? Um, where are these electrons going to come from? Remember what I said, the electrons are going to come from the, uh, the highest energy shell. And that is the number, that is determined by the number in front of the letter, right? So you'll notice here, that the 4s, these electrons here are in energy shell number four, even though here, according to the orbital diagram, these are higher energy level. So here, even though this is a 3D, it looks higher, the electrons are being taken from the 4s. This is the higher number. So the electrons are taken from this here. Okay, so we remove those electrons, not these. So we these are always removed first. So let's assume let's uh, chromium is a transition element. It can have <clears throat> various charges. Let's assume that it has uh, a plus one. Uh, let's say it has a plus three charge. Okay, so if we give this a three plus charge, we need to remove three electrons. The first two electrons are removed from here, not here. So we don't remove three electrons from here first, right? That would be the wrong way to go about it. The electrons would be first removed from the 4s because that's a higher number. And then you would remove from the 3d. So these would be removed. So remove those, that's two. And then for the three plus, we need one more electron. So we would remove one of the electrons here. And so now the electron configuration would be 1s, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d3. So then we would get rid of the 4s2 and replace that with 3d3. So that is the electron configuration for the chromium three plus ion. This is typically what happens when we're dealing with the transition elements. So you got to be careful when you're figuring out what the electron configuration for ions that are, are the transition elements. All right. So what about uh, iron? Iron, again, is a transition element. It is number 26. So let's put in 26. So we have 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And again, the, uh, for the neutral atom, the electron configuration would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3, oops. 4s2, 3d, and that would be uh, 6, 3d, 6. But once again, just like before, um, we have our two electrons here in the 4s, but we have electrons in the 3d. When we're trying to figure out the charge or the uh, electron configuration for our iron, 
um, we remove electrons from the 4s before the 3d because 4 is higher than 3. So this is the higher energy shell. So I'll remove electrons here first before we start removing electrons there. So again, iron can be a plus. It could be a plus charge. It could be a plus two. It could be a plus three. So if uh, if iron is a plus three charge, right? Once again, right? If it's a plus two charge, then we would just remove those two electrons, and then the electron configuration would be one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, and then three d six. If it's a three, then we remove these plus one over there. So if we remove those electrons and remove one here, right? So now the electron configuration is going to be if we remove the 4s2 here and we replace the 3d10, uh, 3d6 with 3d5, then, oops, wrong color. So that's going to be 3d. Five, then that would be the electron configuration for for iron and then finally for bromine like so bromine is number 35 so here we add our two electrons 20 25 26 27 28 29 30 and then we start adding here 31 32 so the 3d then the 4p and so now we have bromine bromine as one two three oh wait hold on a second uh 35 so we have one two three four uh 10 18 20 that's going to be uh 20 uh 30 and then 32 okay so here um bromine uh, uh, 35 oh 35 i forgot electrons 30 i said 32 but this is 35 so we have 33 34 and 35 that's much better that's less confusing Okay, so now here you can see that the energy level, the highest energy level here is four and it's almost full. It's got seven valence electrons in there. And so now bromine can either add one or it can lose seven. It's a lot easier to, lose, uh, to gain one electron. So it's going to gain that one electron like that. And so the electron configuration would be... 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, and then 4p6. So let's write that. So it's going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, uh, 4s2, 3d10, and then 4s2. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 4P6. And so that would be the electron configuration of bromine with a minus one charge. And you can see that they have a full outer shell there. So that's it for this video. I hope that is helpful for uh, writing the electron configuration for ions. You got to be really careful about the transition elements. Remember, that you're going to remove electrons first from the highest energy level. So especially for the uh, transition elements, that's going to be probably the S orbital. So, you, um, so you're so you going to remove electrons first from those. And then if you need to still remove electrons, then you start removing from the D, uh, D orbital or D sub sub level. Uh, I hope this was enjoyable. I hope you got a lot from this video. Please make sure you hit that like button, uh, share this video with your friends, make comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and uh, uh, let me know what you think. Ask me some questions down below.
Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.